Hello and welcome to another CAN diagnostic video. Today we're going to attempt to remove and read the E from on this 1.9 TDCI Passat. So first you're going to take the four security screws out. You're going to slowly and carefully prise the main cover off, being careful with all this, this silicon. And where we actually want is on the reverse of the board. You can see we are looking here. This EE prompt is an Atmel 8024C04 EE prompt. And we're going to remove that. We're going to place it on the K tag adapter and we're going to attempt to read it and see what information we can find. Okay, so obviously, first, going to put a bit of just a bit of flux ray in this just to make things a little bit easier. To get this nice and warmed up, we don't want to pull on it, we literally just want to heat it and move it across. Very simple. No pulling, no tugging. Easier to one side. This little feather, this is what we want. Okay, so what I'm going to do now quickly is just quickly give it a um, quick scrub with some IPA alcohol. Don't lose the chip in the meantime, just to get rid of any excess flux. Right, what I'm going to do is this is the Xprog and this is the E Prime adapter. Now, you can get clip on adapters, which are they are easier, they're a lot less hassle, and you don't have to keep desoldering and soldering, which can eventually knacker the chip. But I don't have one at the minute, so we are going to solder to this. So what I'm going to do is lightly tin the adapter pins. And then we are going to put this on. Right, these are directional, so when you take them off, you need to bear in mind which way it goes. Some have tiny little dots in the corner, some have a darker end than the other, and some you just keep an eye on the direction of the writing. Which in this case goes this way. So all I'm going to do is get my iron, put a bit more tin on the iron. Got the one corner, I'm going to do the opposite corner. And I'm just going to go across them. to bridge any like I've just done. Mm. 
Okay, so this is the from soldered onto the adapter. I'm going to plug it in. Power lead. A couple of stickers there. And the USB connector. Right. Okay, so we're going to open it, Sprog. Till that opens up, then we're going to go to device and we are going to choose the EE PROM chip which we ha already have. We already know it is AT24C04. I'm going to double click that and click new, and then I'm going to click read. And hopefully, it doesn't tell us to check any pins. Right, and it is as simple as that. This, this information, this is the info kept on the EE prompt. And there's not a great deal on here. Okay, now what we can do with this this uh, this dump, the uh, immobilized system, etc. We can copy it all. Then this is useful if the ECU you have is faulty and you've got an, another identical ECU you can either just desolder the EE proms swap them over or you can do it like this where we're going to copy it we're going to save it so now we've got a copy of this this EE prom so if we were to damage this while we was putting it back on the board we could find another uh, another chip, same AT24CO4 chip, and literally paste this information into the new one, and you've got yourself out of trouble. Um, with this information, you can, like I said, copy it into a new one. You can um, delete the, or say delete, you can adapt the um, immobilizer if you need to. It's, I don't know where exactly, but some of these is the um, is your mobilized code. And once we've got all the information we need, we can go ahead, we've already saved it, we can click out of this, and we can go back to our chip. Same applies again, we're going to take this off quickly. Never have too much flux. I don't want to heat this up too much because obviously we're still on the um on the adapter and on the module. Okay, then it's off. And then the way I'm going to do is just quickly clean up the, um, the pads. Just so it's nice and fresh for next time. Keep this moving constantly. Okay. I'm just gonna. Have hold this 
they can excess solder off. Here's the U back. You don't want to lose that chip because if you drop that, you're never going to find it again. Clean that, gonna add a tin it again. And we're going to put the chip back in, obviously observing the right orientation. Same as on the board, do the opposite corners, keep it nice and steady so it doesn't move. Yeah, and I was clean. And where are we? This is a chip. All ready to go. Job done. Put it back in the car. Not a problem.